Hi lovely people, are you wondering why I am looking all colourful today? It's because the Hungarian ambassador to Ghana, Andras Abbott, says the women in Hungary are very fashionable and also there is a very very ready market for Ghanaian products in Hungary but it all depends on quality. So relax and enjoy the full interview with Mr. Andras Abbott. Let's talk about um, ready markets in Hungary. Do you have a market ready for Ghanaian products in Hungary? Of course, um, quality matters. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to uh, match uh, the quality um, restrictions. It's not uh, set by uh, different authorities, it's set by the, the customers. Mm -hmm. But we also have to say that uh, Africa is, uh, is fashionable. African art, African music, African uh, commodities are fashionable. If they are um, FMG, FMCG uh, commodities, we have to uh, show to the European and Hungarian customers what it is. My son, for example, he loves cassava chips, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure how many Hungarians know about uh, cassava mm -hmm. or uh, or plantain chips. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have to we have to teach them to the Hungarian customers. Uh, they, we have to uh, introduce these products to the Hungarian markets. So it's um, it's our job with uh, with your trade promotion agencies mm -hmm. to uh, to introduce these products to, to Hungary and to Europe. Personally, have you tried some Ghanaian products? Do you wear some Ghanaian clothes or some Ghanaian shoes or some Ghanaian food? Is there something Ghanaian you've tried? Yes, I was uh, using. Um, uh, butter to have a nicer skin oh. and I also hope that my hair will grow <laughs> <laughs> so you still use it uh, yeah I, I, I'm using it every day what what you buy it the share butter in the local market Makola market you send someone to of pick course it? I go them myself you go there yourself to get a share butter yes please okay what are some of the business opportunities you've identified in Ghana since you came here well, as I as I um, as I told during the plenary session, uh, we we identified uh, uh, different sectors where we are where we are doing fine. Uh, we are um, we are a country uh, known uh, about our uh, water management. We are um, uh, agricultural superpower. I think. Uh, uh, we are all known about our automotive, uh, IT and uh, pharmaceutical industries. Uh, we are also known for, uh, for our uh, uh, sport development skills. So uh, all these uh, sectors we are ready to, to, to offer our know-how and our technology to Ghana. You talked about um, setting up a tomato processing plant in the northern region. We would like to, and we are listening to uh, to uh, to the program of the new government, uh, we would like to uh, apply to to this program in food processing. Um, uh, Hungary is uh, is doing very very well. Uh, we are all, we are well known for our uh, for our gastronomy, for our cuisine, uh, and, uh, and and well known brands like our salamis, like our uh, Hungarian paprika, and we have a very heavy food processing uh, industry. We would like to share it with you because uh, because we understand that uh, the vegetables, the fruits, uh, are here. Uh, we also uh, we also spoke about uh, pottery industry. How we can uh, how we can we would like to also help and see uh, how we can take the the chicken from the farm mm -hmm. uh, to your table. Mm -hmm. We would like to uh, follow this uh, this uh, in the in the future. But uh, but I think food processing can be can be vital for the country. We can uh, we can do it, um, and um, we also have to say that uh, uh, in order to see mango or pineapple on uh, tables of Hungarian families, it is much easier to make it in a processed way than uh, than, uh, than fresh. And uh, I can tell you that uh, people in Hungary they. Uh, there. The fruit, which is uh, consumed, uh, uh, the number one consumed fruit in Hungary is pineapple. Yeah. So we have to, we have to deliver it to them uh, in a canned mm -hmm. uh, way or in uh, in any any uh, 
um, in, in, in as many forms we can. So are you, possible. are you in talks with government about these um, processing factories? Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, we, we, we introduce our plans, uh, we, uh, we, we, we receive all, all types of assistance and, mm -hmm. uh, and support from their side. Okay, so we should be expecting something soon. Oh, absolutely. Okay, you talked about e-waste management, waste management system. Um, what have you observed about waste management in Ghana? There is waste. We can see there is waste. I'm happy to learn that um, the mayor of Accra announced that uh, he wants uh, Accra to be the uh, cleanest city in, uh, in, in Africa. Uh, I think the first step is education. We have to teach uh, our young um, Ghanaian um, uh, children, students, that uh, the first thing to to uh, to do in uh, in waste management is don't throw away your uh, your pet bottle. So um, uh, this is this is obviously the first step. The second step is that we have to consider that uh, you will never attract uh, uh, um, and you will never uh, see growing the touristic sec sector if uh, if your your beaches, your parks will be will be uh, will be with uh, with waste or, or litter. So I think I think it is also uh, crucial for the for the touristic uh, touristic sector. Um, water, we have to drink water, um, we have to clean water and uh, in this sector we already launched a, a project uh, so uh, I'm, very, I'm very proud that this is the, this is the one of uh, our first uh, projects. Uh, we are going to deliver very soon. With the waste management system, are you in talks with any of our waste management companies in the country? We are um, cooperating with a with a with a big big company, which was uh, recently visited by the president uh, uh, a couple of days ago. So, uh, without mentioning the name, the, <laughs> the reader, about Zoom Lion? The, the readers will find it out. Okay. <laughs> great. Great. Okay. Okay. You talk about construction of stadium. Um, have, have you visited all of our stadiums? Um, I saw um, I saw from outside the, the Cape Coast Stadium. I was uh, I, I saw some games in the in the Accra Stadium, and I saw the the Half Ready mm -hmm. um, University Stadium. I haven't been to. Uh, um, well, uh, Ghana is a football superpower. Uh, I think uh, without facilities, you cannot improve your um, your your sports life. So we are ready. We are ready. For Do you that. love our stadium? Do you think it's too big or it's too small, or you think we can work on it? Well, we believe we believe that the 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 stadiums in the in the twenty first century, or and uh, and in the in the near future they have to offer something else than, uh, than being a stadium. Mm -hmm. So uh, in, our, um, in our stadiums uh, we are not only organizing um, uh, football matches but we can, we can switch immediately and we can, we can organize concerts. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can kill um, um, different birds with, uh, with, one, with one stone. They are fully equipped with, uh, with, uh, with uh, latest IT solutions, internet, uh, bank at halls. You can organize conferences, marriages. So uh, those are not uh, only dedicated for sports, but they are they are they, they can serve any any um, we, we in in the in the field of sport we 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 started to do a lot of things uh, we believe that uh, first of all we have to uh, bring together the different federations uh, not only the football federations associations but other other associations i know that boxing is your number two sport in, mm -hmm. uh, in ghana uh, but there are some uh, disciplines where uh, which are which are which are unknown i was so happy to organize um, the first hungarian uh, ambassador's fencing cup mm 
Mm. Fencing is not a is not a, a well known sport in, uh, in in Ghana. I was happy to promote it. So first, I think um, we have to invite the the real professionals. Mm -hmm. They have to tell us what to do, and if we understand what they want from us, we can uh, we can answer. Uh, if the Ghanaian government wants us to to help us. Uh, building the stadiums we, we are ready to you talked about affordable housing um hungarian technology to be introduced how, how is it like we we are we are about to, to start it uh, it should be it should be cheap it should be very very cheap and there are different um, uh, solutions uh, to to make it cheap but it's one thing that you it's one thing but uh, once you build it and uh, the family starts to complain that uh, uh, it's too hot inside. There is no isolation. Uh, we, that's 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 the issue. So it's not enough to make it um, cheap, but uh, but uh, the the quality must be must be there as well. We have we have different solution, solutions at um, at uh, at really really uh, good prices. The Ghanaian government, uh, the housing uh, ministry, they are absolutely. We have excellent relations with uh, with them with the with the minister himself. Mm -hmm. They are ready to 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 start uh, uh, doing uh, projects uh, uh, with us. I think very very soon we are going to to see uh, a feasible project. Um, today's um, program meeting um, young business minds here in Ghana. How how did you see today's program? I see it. Um, uh, very good opportunity for uh, for us to meet uh, young uh, Ghanaian uh, business people, uh, the the young business community from uh, from Ghana. We take advantage of every forum where we can speak about uh, our, my my country, where we can uh, where we can speak about Hungary, and where we can promote Ghanaian Hungarian relations. This is this is this is one of them. Interacting with um, the few Ghanaians you met today, do you see the passion for international business in Ghana? Uh, definitely, I do, and of course, it's a, it's a very important learning uh, process for us because uh, uh, listening to their questions, we understand what we what we can offer, and uh, listening to their questions, we can also see what we what we don't have, and we have to. Uh, Think about it. How we can uh, how we can make it better. So it is a um, it is a very very useful um, interaction uh, with uh, with them. Uh, I think it's quite obvious that um, that uh, Ghanians they would like to uh, open for uh, for new markets. Uh, I think um, uh, Central Europe, Eastern Central Europe can be a can be a brand new market for uh, for Ghanians. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, apart from the Czech Republic, Hungary is. Uh, uh, I'm representing Hungary as the as a as a country from the from the region. I would like to show uh, to the young um, Ghanaian entrepreneurs uh, as much as I can. Finally, do you think Ghana and Hungary can build a very solid business partnership or relationship? If I didn't believe, I wouldn't be here. That's so simple <laughs> and straight to the point. So you believe we can? I, I don't. I, I I I have to say that uh, we already proved that it can happen. So mm -hmm. I'm not believing anymore because it's there. So uh, I I see the results already. So um, it's it's not a it's not a belief anymore. It's a it's a fact. Thanks for making time to watch the interview with Mr. Andra Zabo. Always remember to log on to www.kasapafmonline.com or Estish TV for more interesting stories in the world of business.